Dead Space 3 has been out a while, but we enjoyed it so much I'm reviewing it now so it doesn't slip under your radar. In this horror action thriller, you play Isaac Clarke again, or if in co-op, a scarred Mexican looking fella to bat over gruesome necromorphs and save humanity. I'm not going to go into the story, because I hate those reviews that tell you what happens before you even play the game. It's less scary than the first one, but that might be because I played it in co-op with a friend. You're able to play the entire game together, which we did in one 15 hour sitting. The co-op worked flawlessly, it was easy to connect to each other, there was no lag, and in the 15 hours we never once lost connection or had any problems. It's set in different locations, so you feel like you've travelled around a bit, instead of just being stuck in one place like you were in the first one. The graphics and sound are very good, and it has some of the best derelict age texturing I've seen in a game. As you expect, everything goes wrong for Isaac, and you're forced to collect or fix something or other to get to the next part of the story. The gameplay was fun, and at times more frantic than tense. There are puzzles to do, and you want to know how the story finishes. This time you can craft weapons from parts and materials you find along your journey. The weapon crafting was confusing to start with, and it took a while to get the hang of. But once you do, you can create a large variety of weapons that suits your playstyle, or complement each other if you're with a friend. The controls were fine, and the aiming was accurate, so when you did make yourself a good weapon, you were confident you can slaughter any necromorph. However, that's not entirely a good thing. In the previous games, you only had a few tools to kill with, not purpose-built guns as you do in this one. Also, before, you could run out of ammo, so you had to keep swapping guns just to get by. That made you tense at all times, as you was worried about running out. Now, one ammo clip fits all guns, and you can even build your own, so you're not crapping yourself anymore that you're going to run out of bullets, and as a result, you're less scared. The other few gripes have are that there's a couple of minor visual bugs, and I left a low res shuttle video in from porting it over from the consoles. Using grappling hooks took quite a few tries to get them to work in co-op, and his girlfriend somehow grew her eye back from Dead Space 2. That was never explained, and she also got a boob job while she was at it. Some of the side quests do have you wandering around a bit, but these give you the opportunity to get more suit and weapon upgrades. This is the kind of game I'd only play once to finish a story, so if you're the same, get the story DLC cheap first before you play it. EA are selling the DLC separately, which is a bit of a rip-off, as it should now be part of a game in a gold edition. Once you finish, it gives you the option to play again with all the stuff you've collected before, or on harder settings. So if you wanted to play it again and again to collect and build the most powerful gear, you can do. After finishing the entire game in one sitting, we were exhausted, but both of us said, wow, that was epic. It's one of the best co-op games we've ever played, and felt like a 9 out of 10. So, it's definitely worth getting. However, as a single player I'd give it an 8, and because of those minor gripes, I'm going to give it an overall 8.5 out of 10. It's more of an action thriller now than a horror, and they could have done a bit better, but it's still very good and didn't spoil our enjoyment playing it. It's definitely worth getting. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. Goodbye.